Hello, this is Eddie, and I'm going to show you a short demonstration of the fill poly command for the HP Prime calculator. I'm going to be running this program, uh, fill demo. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll it up. If you want to type in the commands to follow along, please pause this video. So here is the first screen. It's basically what we're going to do is use the fill poly command to draw a square and a triangle on top of it. Okay. Here's the second screen. And then the last screen right here. This program fill demo is going to show you how the alpha argument affects the triangle throughout the program. This is the syntax for the fill poly command. Now fill poly has two versions. One fill poly for the Cartesian coordinates or fill poly underscore p for pixel coordinates. I'm going to use the pixel coordinate version. Both versions have three arguments, which the third one is optional. Points, color, and alpha. The points argument consists of values that make up the vertices that make up the polygon. We start at point one, which is designated by x1 comma y1, then point two, which would be comma x2 comma y2, and so on to the last point, which is designated by xn comma yn. The order that you list the arguments is important because you're following a path. Let's look at this square where I designated the four corners as points 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. If I follow the green arrows and type in the points as designated, you're going to get a nice looking square like this. Say if I did point 0.1, then point 0.3, then point 0.2, then point 0.4, Phil Poly is going to create a polynomial that looks like this, a bow tie. So order of coordinates is important. Please note the format of the points argument. We're going to use one list of alternating x and y values. So for this example, Phil Poly is going to draw a triangle, starting with one vertex, going to the next vertex, going to the next vertex. Be aware that if you access Phil Poly on the help screen of the HP calculator, at least in the current version, you're going to get this as an example where the coordinates are bundled up in coordinate pairs. If you try running that, you're going to get an error. So use the top format and not the bottom format. The other two arguments for fill poly are color and alpha. Color is the designated color that's going to fill your polygon. Color is satisfied by either typing in a six digit hexadecimal value or you could use the RGB command red, green, blue. Alpha is your transparency factor that ranges from 0 to 255. If alpha is set to 255 or left out, the polygon is going to be a solid object, solid looking object. If alpha is zero, the polygon is going to be completely transparent. Now I am going to run the fill demo program. If you want to type it, please go back to the beginning of the video and pause at the appropriate points. This program is going to draw two objects, a blue square and a green triangle. The green triangle is going to have the alpha constant designated. Here, the alpha is at 255. 
and the green triangle is solid. Lowering the alpha to 128 and you notice that the triangle is starting to get transparent and faded and when I lower the alpha to 15 the triangle is almost gone. So that is a demonstration of the fill demo program and how the command fill poly F I L L P O L Y for the Cartesian coordinates and F I L L P O L Y underscore P for pixel coordinates work. Please visit my blog, Eddie's Math and Calculator blog, at Ed's Pi. 31415.blogspot.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.